Doug Karsh at Yost Ice Arena for MGoBlue.com, along with the head coach of the Michigan Hockey Program, Red Berenson, and coach uh, Big Weekend Series, obviously coming up. Chance to win a league title. You've been here before where it comes out of the last weekend. It's kind of old hat. What experience do you draw from the past to say how you prepare a team for this? Well, I, I think it's more about how we play and uh, the things that we're trying to do better uh, to play well, to get ready for the playoffs. We know we're going to be in the playoffs. Whether we're a first place team or not will really depend on how we play on Friday night, give ourselves a chance. I think we've got to play better defensively. We can't give up all the goals against that we gave up against Western. And, uh, and then we've got to build on our offensive confidence. We've got to visit the Western series and specifically Saturday night. Have you ever had a senior night that dramatic? Well, we've had a few good senior nights and we've had some a few bad senior nights too. Though so this was a delight. I mean, the way it ended uh, to have Carl tie the game in the last minute and then win it in the last few seconds of overtime uh, was as good as it gets. You've often talked of used the term puck luck. There might have been some of that, but your team put yourself in a position to get the puck luck. Well, no question. You know, you, you, did we like the way we started the game? No. Uh, did we like the way we finished the game? Yes. And uh, getting pucks at the net, you know, it's not all skill and it's not all great plays, but uh, we've seen it before. Uh, sometimes you get lucky when you work hard. All right, let's talk about this weekend. And you mentioned better defensively, obviously mistakes along the, when you're attacking along your blue line that gave up opportunities the other direction. Is that a point of emphasis in practice this week as you prepare for Northern? Well, it, you know, it's not something that's characteristic of our team, Doug. We haven't done that much, but we twice in the game, we turned the puck over at the offensive blue line, standing still trapping everyone, giving up two breakaway goals. Uh, obviously, everyone knew who it was and, and what happened and so on. We re revisited it in video. It's behind us, and we'll move on. In the last couple of weeks, a few things have happened. One is you named Sean Hunwick your number one goalie, and two is you shuffled up the lines. Is there a direct correlation between winning more and keeping pace with Notre Dame and those decisions? Well, it's a little bit of everything. We want to be our, uh, at our best. Uh, right now, Hunwick is our goalie, and he's proven that. that. That was an easy decision. Hogan is now ready to help and be a backup like Hunwick, like Hunwick was last year. So I feel good about our goalkeeping. You need good goalkeeping in the playoffs. And shuffling our lines, I think we needed to make some changes just for the sake of change. Some of them might have been constructive, but some of them were good just because they were different. How important is winning a CCHA regular season title to you? Well, it's important. I mean, you start the year, you look at your 28-game schedule, who you've got in your four-game four, four game clusters, uh, who you play away, who you play at home. But uh, I think you, if you take care of business in the CCHA, you'll probably get some opportunity in the NCAA. So it starts with our league. I think it's important. Does the fact that your team has to play good hockey right down to the end help them stay sharp into the postseason? No question. I mean, last year you, you saw we got desperate and we got better. And I think there has to be an element of confidence in our team this year, but there definitely has to be an element of desperation. Finally, on Northern, they take a lot of penalties. They lead the league in minutes, and they don't have a great penalty kill. How important is it for your team to strike with the extra attacker this weekend? <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, you saw our power play today. We're working on it. And uh, we're preparing for that. And if that happens, uh, hopefully we can hold our own on the power play and in the special teams. Coach, best of luck. Good. Thanks, Doug.